Welcome to Constructing an Effective Intrinsic Stretching Orthosis. The range of hyperextension increases the length demanded of these muscles, and this does not provide precise stability. Highest of the group in the arch often then receives undue pressure and identify the exact axis of each PIP joint. Draw across each PIP joint axis and interconnect those with what I'm calling stair steps. And instead of now doing a stair step, we do a gentle curve that approximates the length of each PIP joint. You will find a description of how to draw this pattern and uh, these illustrations. But now we're doing the dorsal pattern, so what we're interested in is material that will go across the MP joints. So I'm just taking splinting material over here, and I am doing this because I don't, I'm, the blocking is not important. The single greatest problem is um, not heating the polyform adequately. You realize that many of your patients may not be able to fully supinate, and therefore I'm now taking a piece of tape, and I am distal to her PIP joint. It's just the edge. I don't want push the finger forward. I'll pull this just enough that I have a little overlap on the radial aspect that I'll show you momentarily. I'm but to remove it, she takes it off just by opening that and sliding out because if she has flexion contractors, has a really stiff hand, she would not be able to slide out. The irony is that the patient lacks full finger flexion, but working on full finger flexion is actually not the maneuver that will help the patient to gain it.